Everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for clicking on this video. If you haven't subscribed now, if you haven't subscribed by now, please go and subscribe to the channel. Like the video, leave a comment. Helps out tremendously. Well, in the morning, I'm out here getting a few things, a few of my things together because in the morning, I'm going to be hitting out with Steve and John on Steve's boat. Steve reached out to me and said, hey, Ruben, we're going to take the boat out. You want to come out? You want to jump on? Yes, absolutely. Count me in. I'm going to go over there and toss... Uh, Cork, probably about three foot liter line, uh, roll with about 20 pound Yozuri, and a little treble hook. So uh, the shrimp probably gonna be a little bigger, so I'll probably use a little bigger treble hook just so it can fit all the way through through the head and you know secure it on the other side. Uh, we're gonna fish around the Galveston area. I know that we've had a lot of wind lately, so I'm thinking the water might be a little milky. It might have a lot of silt in it. Um, hopefully that's not the case because I really want to fish underneath the causeway because when you have this nice big shrimp, the, uh, the trout are kind of moving out and going around to the surf. The sheep heads are moving out and going through the same area. So if I can catch some sheep head, hook up to some sheep head and maybe some nice trout, if that water is clean enough, I'll keep my fingers crossed. Wish me luck guys. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, yeah, let's get cracking. There you go, John. There you go, John. Get him! I got John. Uh, Where is he at? Nice trout, nice trout. Nice trout. Oh, oh, I missed it. He came off? Came off. Oh man! Oh, that was a nice trout. I hate when that happens. Dang it, John! <laughs> what was it? How big was it? I didn't. About 17, maybe yeah. 18. Yeah. It was nice. Those are nice, key Those are nice keepers, yeah. Let me just be clear no way was that the net man's fault. <laughs> You're not pinning that one on me, guys. Fish on. You got it? Yep. Oh, and that drain, little red. That's a nice red. Ah, oh, he's small. small. Yeah, he's small. Uh, oh, come on. Dang that one ready. Pretty blue tail though. Little, little rat red, but right here in the drain. You got that water movement? Yeah. A little bit of drain, I thought it'd be perfect. Perfect spot for a fish. Little guy. Close your mouth. Open your mouth, I mean. Stop kicking. There you go. Oh. There we go. And I broke off. Look how beat up he is though, look. Yep. That's like the last one I caught, he was uh -huh. all beat up. We'll measure him for fun, but I think he's probably about 18 maybe. Uh, are you 20? Oh, he's 20 and a half. Mm -hmm. 20 and a half, that's perfect size. 20 and a half. Yep, yeah. anybody want a red? John, you want a red? Yeah. Huh? Uh -uh. Nobody wants a red. He don't look 20 to me. Look how small he looks, right? 
Maybe because I'm used to catching all these 28s and 30s, you know? Yeah, right. You're a baller. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> if you believe that, <laughs> we're gonna let him go. Nice slot fish for the day. Now we're gonna come clean up our cluster, you know what? What? <laughs> Might have, to, might have to do some surgery on that thing, John. Nice. Sheep in. There you go. Oh. Shit, I thought I was hung up on the rocks. Nice. Let me get you holding them. There you go. That's a nice one. Yeah. That's Yep, that was it too. Oh, I broke off. Right where I was. I broke off. Look at that. The clean cut too. Oh. That one? Ah. Oh, my cork. I felt it pulling. Something small. As soon as I started cranking, it was. He might have taken my shrimp. Yeah, he took. Nope, it's still there. Something small. I see that defined line over there. There's a defined line over there where the drop off steps off. That's why I asked how deep it was. So I thought maybe you can fish that drop off and find something. Somebody bit. Oh, yeah, he sure did take my shrimp. He did. Yeah. He's big enough big enough to yank it off well that's cool hopefully they're over there yep. let's see that that line that drop-off line where it kind of steps down Again, I got caught looking around. Every time I look around, I'll get a bite. Yeah. Yeah. Good, real, real good there. Hit hard, huh? A little red. A little red. There you go. Ain't nothing wrong with the little red. A little red. He's like something bit me. I can't reel him in. He's pulling my drag. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, he keeps going underwater on me. Huh? Yeah, I can't. I can't gain on him. He's just staying underneath the water. The problem is, I got him on my real small ultralight setup. So I can't bring him in because he's too big. I gotta hold my reel so he don't pull a drag. Ah, no. He's, yeah, turn to the left. Because he's going left. You gotta net him? How you get it? Yeah, I can't net him though. 
If I let if I let go of this reel, he's gonna take yeah, off. Yeah, you got it, great, John. Grab the net. Try to get him head first. That way, uh. Dang it. No, no, no. Try to get him head first. Ah. Try to get him head first. That way he don't, uh. He's underneath it. Oh, watch it. Ah. Watch it. There he is. Ah. Oh. That's what I didn't want to happen. Dang it. It broke. Ah, he got a spoon. Dang it. Well guys, that is going to do it. You know, I had a great time. I always have a great time. Thanks Steve for having me out on your boat. John, great seeing you. Today was actually Steve's birthday, so it was nice. You know, Steve caught the only slot. Well, I take it back. He 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 had a keeper. I had a keeper, but uh he's the only one that kept the keeper. So Steve, he got himself a uh, a nice sheep head you know and we went around west bay a little bit you know we fished around the bridge and and ducked in a few other spots and uh you know the, the water was just real milky real milky a little dirty you know not a whole lot going on we went through two quarts of live shrimp and this shrimp was big it was excellent so if you're around yeah the, the uh, galveston yacht basin you're looking for some live shrimp some big live shrimp they definitely have some big live shrimp and uh you know that big butler kept kept them alive all day but just wasn't in the cards you know uh, I, you know i don't know what to say you know it just is just it's weird it was really weird that we had so many bites uh just a lot of small stuff I, i'm guessing um john did lose that one speck right at the boat i couldn't see it to net it i felt so bad um <laughs> <laughs> oh my reputation for being a net man is not very good at all every time i think i redeem myself just a little bit it bites me again and oh that was heartbreaking i ended up catching a bird and the bird broke off i was trying so hard to get that guy in and and not break off because i, I don't want to hurt those guys um we kept watching for him to come up and we never saw him come up we kept looking for him to break water surface so we can net him and, and try to you know and try to help him out and get that get that lure out of him um yeah and it just just never happened so that's tough that was that was a tough go for the day but yeah so we heading back to the house back to back over the causeway leaving old galveston island i uh, appreciate g-town love g-town uh, thanks again, John, for having me out. Uh, not John, Steve, for having me out on your boat. Always great catching up and, and fishing together. And thank you guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please go to do so. Like the video. You know these glasses have come in clutch. I know I mentioned them the other day, but they came in so much cl so clutch today. I mean, they really keep the wind out of your eyes. I love it. It's awesome. Like typically, I have to like carry eye drops with me and keep putting eye drops in my eyes because they get they start burning and get so dried out in case if you suffer from allergies oh man these sunglasses rock but um yeah links in the description section for that as well but yeah thanks guys hopefully next time you catch me hook it up